it's Justine here. I am just going to take you guys along with me getting ready for dressing up for my Halloween costume. So you are going to come along with me to do the makeup of it. Due to work, I have to dress up for Halloween. And so what I have chosen for my Halloween costume, I'm going to be a leopard. Now, because of coronavirus, and the job, I have to wear a mask. So I might as well wear a costume that goes well with a mask. So, which is what I did. I haven't actually like put this on yet, but it's a little bit, see? So that is what I'm going to be for Halloween and you're just gonna come along with me for the makeup. Now, because of coronavirus and like have to wear a mask, I'm probably not going to do the lower part of my face. I might like touch it up because I look really bad right now. But um, yeah, there's really no need for me to put any makeup on the bottom of my face because I'll be wearing this. So what I'm first going to start off with is obviously primer. Now I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. So I'm going to put this on kind of in my rubber spots and where I apply brush, blush so the blush has something to stick on and it's gonna last a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go in with concealer now the concealer I use is instant age rewind eraser from what brand is this? But this is what it looks like. It is an amazing, very affordable um, concealer. And I just put it like around my eyes. Like if I have any like reddish spots, always above my eyebrows, cause it kind of like smooths it out more. And then I apply on my eyelids as well because we're obviously going to be putting on some eyeshadow. Now I don't quite know like how this is going to turn out. I'm really just winging it. I also use this sponge with the flat end. It's kind of dirty, I'm sorry, because I use it. I haven't washed it in a fat minute, but it's not too bad, really. Um, because I like the flat edge to kind of sculpt out my eyes. I don't really like this round edge. I feel it's kind of rough and I might be psycho for some of you because I don't damp my sponge either. I just use it dry. But that's just what I do. Obviously, you don't have to do that at all. But next, I'm going to do contour. Now, I just use the cream contour palette from e.l.f. I don't use the regular one, I make sure it's cream because it'll stick to my skin and last longer than the regular one. So I'm just gonna dip into here and here, like so, and sculpt out my cheekbones, kind of blend it. I also use my hand a little bit for blending. And then I'm gonna get my forehead because it's a monstrosity. And also my nose, because that's also a monstrosity. And those are the only parts I contour. I contour the sides of my nose with this weird shaped sculpting brush, brush from e.l.f. All my brushes I use from e.l.f. So I use that, the sculpting brush for the sides of my nose. And then I use this little e.l.f. brush for like the inner part of my nose. like. Trying to create the illusion of a button nose, you yeah. know? I do a little bit underneath. And for my skin tone, I mainly use this shade at all times. And now what I'm doing is putting this shade kind of in the top part of my nose. And I'm kind of blending it so it seems smooth because my nose is kind of crooked. I don't know if you can can definitely tell yeah but so what I do kind of create like a cute little button nose effect as best as I can 
but my nose is kind of difficult to work with. So there's that. Oh, I use blush. Um, I have eyelashes on here, but the palette I use is Blushing in Bali by BH Cosmetics. I don't know, I just really like the palette. I broke the mirror on it, sadly, though, but I obviously have used the crap out of this. On to my eyes. So I don't quite know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna wing it. And obviously it's gonna be more of like natural tones, kind of more goldish because of the leopard. It's gonna be pretty dark. But nothing really too crazy. Gotta make sure I'm on time. I'm doing great so far. I I am using three palettes, possibly. But I am gonna use this Essence Air palette. Um, it's more of just like sparkly highlighting tones. I like to use it for the inner parts of my eyes. Probably use this opalescent BH Cosmetics palette. It has a really pretty gold in here that I'm thinking about. Right there is called Captivating. Obviously, because it captivated my eye, I'm probably using it. And this Morphe palette. It doesn't really have a name on it, it's just Morphe. And this is what it looks on the inside. I've used this shade a lot. I also don't do my brows like a normal human. I use eyeshadow. So this is also what I'm gonna use this palette for, is for my eyeshadow and also the cream darkest shade of contour right here. I also use my um, eyebrows, but that's, what, that's my method of doing my eyebrows and it works for me and I enjoy it, so. There's that. So oh, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna use this brush. Um, this is the only brush I have from Morphe. It's the M506. I'm gonna use this brush to go into my, this part. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, I'm not a James Charles. I don't really know the sections of my eyeball to demonstrate for you, but we're gonna work with the best we can. So I'm gonna dip into leave this shade right here. Now I'm gonna dip into this and kind of go into the crease. I think is what it's called. Crease part of my eye. This is my result so far. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is so, my hair is always super weird out of the shower, so don't mind it. Don't mind my hair, it'll be fixed, so don't worry. Okay, so I think I'm gonna dip into this gold I was talking about earlier, right here. Right there. It's, this camera's not really doing it justice, but it's really shimmery and it really stands out. So I'm gonna dip into this really deep gold. And I'm gonna kind of place it kind of semi in the middle of my eye. So this so far. I'm gonna probably dip into a darker shade. So I'm gonna dip into this, this shade right here. And I'm gonna go back, put on my crease like in the, this part right here and kind of go up a little bit. Now for what I'm gonna do for my outer parts, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay shade, singular shade called Laced and I'm gonna put it around the outside for it to blend works really well with my skin tone. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I pretty much use the same brush for everything. 
this is like my main eyeshadow brush when I do eyeshadows like this. But if I just want to get my whole shape, my whole eyelid, I use this brush from e.l.f. It's the blending brush. I am going into a lighter gold shade. It's kind of more of a shimmy, but I'm going to go into this one right here. It is called Delight, and I'm going to go this inner part right here. inner part. Now, what I'm going to do is going to use this, well, it's kind of close to white, but it's not. This shade called Flutter, right here. And I'm going to put this in my inner corners. I don't know if that's how you properly call it, but I'm going to put it in there to kind of lighten it up. this air palette from Essence. I'm gonna go with this one right here. They don't have names or anything. It's just this one, the white one on here. And now I'm gonna go in with switching my brushes. smudge brush from elf and I'm kind of gonna go into this little gold again and kind of bring it back where I placed it because the other shape kind of faded it out now for the bottoms now I'm gonna go back with my dark shade this dark shade right here on my morphe power and I'm just gonna go underneath. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in there like that. Take the deep gold I was talking about underneath here. This is what it looks like so far. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows because it's driving me crazy looking at my eyebrows like this. Now, like I said earlier, I'm gonna use my contour palette and my Morphe palette. Now, what I do with, I use this little eyebrow duo brush from e.l.f. and I kind of just comb them out. Like that. I dip into the right next to the shade I was using before. I'm gonna go in with this one. With the flat part of the brush. And I always use my contour palette to kind of Get a closer look on it. And then I take the contour cell and kind of drag out the ends. Now I'm gonna go in with powder. I have such a weird process with makeup. But usually, honestly, I kind of do this before eyeshadow, but I kind of forgot, but I kind of just go underneath. I use the Matte and Poresless Power by um, Maybelline Fit Me. I just use this powder. I don't, I hate loose powder. It gets everywhere. It's really just pointless and it's faster with just this because you don't really have to let it set. It just sticks on like so. And I do my forehead and my chin usually like that. Then that's it. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. I use NYX That's the Point Professional Makeup Liquid Eyeliner. Looks like this. I 
use the thinnest point so it's more precise. I'm just gonna do that. Give me a couple minutes. Alrighty, so now I have my eyeliner done. This is what it looks like up close. It's kind of like a little bit of a leopard print. See that? So I got that done. And now I'm gonna attempt to put on these crazy things. So give me one moment. I'm gonna get all my stuff for it. I'll be right back. So now that I am back, I am gonna attempt this. I have this amazing eyelash glue. It's from Kiss. And it's literally just like an eyeliner, but it's glue and it works so well. It makes them stay super well and it's just amazing. They're not that bad actually. They're just ginormous. Okay, but right now I'm just lining it out. I'm also putting some on my a little bit above my eyelid right here. Oh, see, it's like getting in the crease and it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna go back with my liner because it took some off. And I have these little teeny tiny baby scissors. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. I'm gonna go back in with glue, reapply because it might be too dry. I always wanna take precautions. Put extra on the inner and outer parts. How does that look? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my other. I'm gonna trim the same amount. Just getting there. This, it's always the, my non-dominant, dominant side that is harder to handle. Now I just kinda press them into my eyelashes so my eyelashes are just not blowing underneath. Alrighty, and now that I have my lashes done, I am gonna go in with highlight. So I'm going back to this palette. I'm just gonna kinda highlight parts of my face. I use the smudge brush from e.l.f. again for highlighting parts like my nose. I guess it truly really doesn't matter because it's going to be covered up by a mask anyway, but underneath my eyebrows, I'm going to do a couple little bit more touch-ups with my eyeliner. Also, what I just realized, I just touched up a couple bit of spots with my eyeliner. But what I've realized is that I did not do my bottom eyelashes with mascara. So I'm gonna go with my CoverGirl Lash Exact and it's waterproof. I always, always use waterproof mascara um, because it lasts longer and it stays on more. I forgot to let you guys know, but I use my liquid eyeliner for the top parts of my eyes and the wings but i also put eyeliner in my bottom waterline and i use this it's all faded i can't tell you what the brand is but um i just use the one where you can roll out like this and it's black and it's more of a pencil eyeliner and it goes well within my waterline so this is how it turned out I can't really tell, but I have leggings on and boots. Yeah, and this is my makeup. Sorry, the flash is going on and off on this camera. Yeah, this is a completed look, and I just rolled a tutu. And yeah, so now I am off to work, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.